Welcome to The Circuit. I'm your host, Omar Lewis, and today we're celebrating National Engineers Week 2023 with a visit to the quantum world. I got a master's in electrical engineering, all right? I'm gonna be fine. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania recently hit theaters featuring an engineer turned superhero. But according to the film's science advisor, this engineer may be even more powerful than Superman. Ant-Man with a malfunctioning regulator and with a good head on his shoulders, we be more powerful than any superhero. To be a master of the quantum realm, we have the ability to, to change the very laws of physics and how space and time operate. Shape-shifting robots were once the domain of science fiction, but now a team of engineers from Carnegie Mellon University and a university in China have developed a shape-shifting robot that can switch between liquid and metal states to navigate difficult environments. Inspired by sea cucumbers, these robots have promise in areas like electronics assembly and even medical applications. You may have heard of NASA's nine-foot-wide Mars rover that uses a drill to collect rock and soil samples. But what about a robot that can burrow its entire body below ground to do the same thing? We've got robots in space, we've got robots in the ocean, we have very, very few robots that are actually navigating underground. A team of researchers at UC Berkeley created a four-inch robot inspired by the mole crab that can dig below the surface to be used in a wide variety of applications from space exploration to construction. Today is Introduce a Girl to Engineering Day and a national competition in Washington, D.C. is doing just that by having kids solve real-world problems. With nearly 50% participation from young girls, the competition comes at a time when, according to recent research, women make up only about 14% of the U.S. engineering workforce. Do you know Yvonne Young Clark? She's the first black member of the Society of Women Engineers, having worked on the designs for the Saturn V rocket and the Moon Rock Box at NASA. She made it possible to bring lunar samples back to Earth. She's nicknamed the First Lady of Engineering thanks to all the firsts she's accomplished along the way. That's all the time we have for now. Thanks for watching The Circuit. Don't forget to follow and subscribe at Circuit News TV.